Welcome, my peeps, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It would be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart, my peeps, my people. So let's talk about Black Ink Crew New York, Season 6, Episode 12. And yes, we are going in because War is seeming like, you know, he's not getting any help in hand. He's not getting anything. And basically, he feels like his friends don't have his back. His friends ain't there for him. He's been rocking with them forever. And they it just don't seem like they got his back at all. Because if you think about it, you know, they helped, you know, Sky go to Texas. They've been helping Sky on supporting her with all her erratic behavior, dissing people, disrespecting people. Then also helping Ted on giving Ted support when his brother went to jail. And also helping, you know, um, the Vagina Slayer, a.k.a. Alex, out when his... When he got locked up and he needed to pay tickets, you know, C's was there, you know, Teddy was there. And then also, you know, supporting Young Bay with, you know, having a tattoo with Don to go see her, you know, mother and Korea, basically. And then you got Teddy with these sneakers coming out and asking the shop to throw a party there and, you know, basically making money. So, so many people on the show has been getting a helping hand from everybody else have been acting like a family, but Walt seems to be left out that situation. The only time I really seen Walt get, like, to help or support was when Sky took him out shopping. She wanted him to buy some new gear because she didn't like the clothes that he was wearing. I guess they was going somewhere i don't know if it was puerto rico but she made sure he got some new gear some new clothes or whatever so it is what it is with that situation and so i'm like i'm feeling war but he just shouldn't have been calling you know tatiana a b-word and yelling and screaming at her because she didn't deserve that as well but he's kind of, he's frustrated and he's taking out his anger like sky does as well he's saying what well, it gets sky so hey let me try it then on top of that, he's, you know, he got that Hennessy in his system. So it's really flowing. He's really upset. He's letting shit to be known. And we see that Sky is, you know, chilling with Kathy or whatever. She's, you know, she's uh, going to be her spiritual advisor. But we see next episode, it looks like Nikki, a.k.a. O'Shit's wife, is going to get her out of her spiritual zone. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll find out. So anyways, let's get into it. So basically, everybody's in the shop chilling as Teddy, is C's, is Miss Kitty, and is Young Bay and Kevin. And basically, Teddy asked the question, have you ever let a girl wipe your ass? Like, that sounds disgusting and nasty. Like, who would want to wipe a grown man's ass? You know what I mean? Come on, that's disgusting. What kind of fetishes are you in? You like to get shitted on too, Ted? What's going on with that type of question? Caesar's looking like, okay. And then, you know, Sky, she walks in and she was like, oh, I'm on my spiritual journey, basically. And plus, I broke, she said she either broke her for JJ or her butt or something and she's going to go get it fixed. And you guys would not want to know how it how it broke. I was like, no, we don't want to know how it broke. But we also broke, but we also see that Sky's really not maturing as far as you know, stepping up to the plate to be Genesis' mother. Or basically trying to, you know, kill him with kindness, chase after him, love him, do whatever. You know, she tried a couple of times and now she's ready to give up. That doesn't really sound like someone that is really determined. You know, you, you was determined to succeed on Black Ink. You was determined to see to succeed and, you know, the reality TV world. Be determined to succeed to be, you know, Genesis' mom and be there for him. But anyways... It's neither here or there, but she's on her spiritual journey, and she's going to go get clean. And C says, oh, you're going to get your ass clean like C's. Why you got to keep going here? So, anyways, it is what it is. So, um, Sky is out to go get her for JJ or something fix of hers that she broke. <laughs> I'm like, okay. And then we got the fat Jewish guy. He got almost, he got 11 million followers. He's coming in. He wants to get a tattoo. And basically, he's going to let his Instagram followers actually pick where the tattoo is going to be at and what location on his body it's going to be and what type of tattoo is going to be as well. As long as he got uh, over a million likes. So, everybody sees it's like, that's crazy. You're going to let these people choose what you want on your body. Alex is like, yeah, good luck to you. They're like, come on, this shit sounds fugazi. But you know what? He's satisfying his fans, and that's what he's doing. So, anyways, it is what it is. They're like, okay, you're going to let... And then, on top of that, the tattoo is going to be live on IG. So, I'm like, okay, I'm reloaded. So, now we get Sky. She goes to see Kathy. Kathy looks calm. She, she looks relaxed. She looks healthy. She looks at peace. And, basically, she's going to be um, Sky's, you know, spiritual guide. And, basically, she's trying to clean up the energy of Sky. You're going to need more than that. You know, um, Sky needs an exorcism. She needs a psychotherapist. She needs a psychologist. She needs a priest. <laughs> she needs a nutrition. Kathy, you know, 
you're not all the effects and all the things that Kathy was trying to do to help to help Sky seems really nice and really good and would probably help the normal person. But you know, um, Sky has some embedded demons and some embedded issues where it's gonna take a lot to pull it out. She needs all types of cleansing, <laughs> cleansing, all types of stuff. She needs to go swim in the sea. She needs to go swim in some salt water. <laughs> I don't know, but you know. Um, Kathy looks good, though, and I was asking for Kathy. Kathy's back. Kathy's a spiritual advisor. Basically, she went to class, and her and, and you know, you know, Sky was like, I kind of trust you, and then, you know, Sky goes to confession. I don't really trust her. Whatever, whatever. So, basically, she feels blockage. That's all types of blockage. Kathy was like, I see guilt. I see this. Like, would you a fortune tell, tell her to as well? <laughs> So anyways, there's some blockage going on. There's some guilt, some things that, you know, she's holding on to and all this other stuff. So, you know, she's going through that bullshit. Really, it's not going to help Sky at all. So anyways, moving on from that, we got, you know, you no, know, Kathy was like, you got some guilt. You got some shame. Yes, she got some guilt. She got some shame or whatever, but she needs to face it because basically she's holding on to like, I let my kids go to a good place. They went to a wonderful place. Like she's, she's acting like they went to Alice in Wonderland. Like they went to Candyland. They went to a wonderful place. But Genesis is trying to tell her that it wasn't a wonderful place. And she's trying to hold on to like, I sent them somewhere good. I did something good. She doesn't want to face the fact that the decision that she made ultimately, you know, derailed um, Genesis and really hurt him and put him in a position that he is in. And with the hatred and the dislike of his mom. So it is what it is with that situation. So anyways, we get back to the shop. Miss Kitty's talking about her kitty cat. But she's talking about her real cat. So whatever she call him, CJ. <laughs> CJ Cup Jr. The mother name is Buttercup or whatever. What was like, are you talking about an actual feline? Or are you talking about your kitty, kitty cat? And, you know, Walt and, you know, Alex, they laugh. They joke or whatever. But... You know, Miss Kids, like, you guys are nasty, nasty little. Where your mind's at? And so, anyways, Donna has a, t uh, has a customer that comes in. Well, the customers should be glad that, you know, Donna, that Donna wasn't able to show up because the last couple of tattoos that Donna did, I would not. People still want tattoos by Donna unless it's a flower or a rose. So, anyways, they're calling Donna, calling Donna. The customer leaves or whatever. And then they finally get through to Mo. And Mo lets them know that Donna's in the hospital. And basically, she's a 25 year old female. She's getting prepped for trauma. So, basically, Donna is having you know her baby is being formed on parts of her fallopian tube and it's a high-risk pregnancy and right now the baby won't survive and she won't survive so they have to take away one of her babies take away her baby basically so and they have to move some of her vagina as well so donna can get pregnant again but it'll possibly be a high-risk pregnancy and she's only 25 years old and it's so sad to hear that news because she wants her kids she wants her babies like sky said donna always wanted a child she always wanted a kid and so you know she got mo that's there supporting her he's at the hospital he's by her side he's comforting her he's nursing her and it's like damn donna why you treat mo so bad but i see that you're only 25 years old as well and Donna's story got to be real serious. I think Donna's story that she has to tell about her life is going to be more shocking than Sky. So, um, anyways, it is what it is. Donna was went to the hospital. It was like flu-like systems, but it wasn't. It was, you know, she was pregnant. So, was she pregnant in Korea? She wasn't. But the, you remember the pregnancy test in Korea said that she was pregnant. So, did she miscarriage and then got pregnant again? So, anyways, Kev and Miss Kitty are there at the hospital to support Donna and be there with her. And Mo seems like a really general... A, uh, uh, genuine guy that you know really cares for Donna even though he knows Donna got some issues and she got some problems but he's still trying to work it out with her I don't know if they're still together because if he viewed this season so far he probably has some questions of why but I think Donna has had a very hard not life and been mistreated and she doesn't really know how to treat men and she doesn't understand how to have a good man in her life because she's been with so many men that was abusive and mistreated her. And it seems like she, she suffered some some traumatic, you know, things, you know, and in her childhood. And hopefully we get to see, you know, Donna's backstory with her mom, her father, and all this other stuff. And um, so it is what it is. And so now Sky. <laughs> Sky goes to the shop and she lets everybody know that Kathy is her spiritual advisor, sees and Ted are like, what? 
Ted is like, you talking about, um, oh, shit's baby's mother, Kathy, crazy Kathy. She's just like, Kathy? And then Steve's getting his confession. He was like, oh, what are you talking about? That's um, having Kathy as your spiritual advisor is just like having, oh, shit, um, be in charge of a rehab facility, owning his own re rehab, you know, clinic. It doesn't make any sense. And I was like, oh, my God, good luck, Sky. Then Ted throws in, won't you take Walt with you? Because Walt has been acting up because Walt did go off. Walt did go off on, you know, um, he went off on, what's her name? Tatiana. And I thought Tatiana was, she breathed, she breathed by the last two episodes of nobody coming at her. I was like, oh shit, people are accepting Tatiana. No one's coming at her or whatever. So I was like, oh shit, it's cool. But now it seems like it's not cool. <laughs> but anyways, we get, we get back to Sky. She's back to see Kathy again on her Groupon. She was like, I, I was here on Groupon or whatever. So basically, you know, um, Kathy's telling, you know, Sky to let go bad energy. Sky gets in her confessional. She was like, I got to let this shit go with Genesis is this juby jobby booby jumpy whatever like she's basically kind of like saying that genesis is a bad energy she hurt energy she abandoned him and now kathy's giving her the okay so release that negative energy release it and sometimes you just got to let your kids go uh, and see if they come back she already let him go 15 years ago now she's popping back up in his life and it's not going the way that she wants she's going to let him go again that really doesn't sound like parenting but sky is not a parent and uh, we get to see next episode that sky wants to have a kid are you you serious guy you're trolling vh1's trolling black ink is trolling knowing this woman can't even this woman don't even want one of her sons basically she can't deal with the nitty-gritty and get down to the caress you know get down to the crust get down to the crevices of what's going on with um genesis i'm like damn this is a goddamn shame and then kathy kathy ain't letting go her son but she's telling, you know, Sky to let go of her son. Sky was like, she was like, you just might have to let it go. You just might have to get it out of your system. I was like, shit. Then she gets some painting and then her shock was and shit are blocked. Damn, she let her son go 15 years ago. Why let him go again? Why not fight for him? Why not show him why you really want him in your life? Why not show him that you really love him? And to say this shit on national TV, <laughs> it's like, yo, it got me all choked up because this is like so terrible. Like you want to, you want to root for Sky and you want her to get back with Genesis, but she says dumb shit like this and do dumb shit like this that make you feel like, damn, it's the, it almost seems like you're not even deserving of that young man. Especially the last episode when he was like, "F that little nigga, F that little nigga." How do you say that to somebody that's supposed to be your child? He was like, "Oh, he don't love me back. He's a kid." Like, and then how are you gonna try to have another kid, Sky? I'm just like, yo, this is just crazy. She needs real help. Like, before she goes, like, this spiritual guy thing is just a fucking, it's just full gazy. It's a joke. She needs, she needs psychological help. She needs all types of help. And, um, she's not getting it. It's better for her to think that, oh, Genesis is the problem and not that she's the problem. Not that her behavior is the problem. You know what I mean? So, it is what it is. <coughs> Excuse me. So... We get back to the shop or whatever, and Teddy's letting everybody know in the shop that he got these Ewan's 33 coming out, and basically he signed a deal with Patrick Ewan. He got to sell these sneakers because he needs to help his brother get out of jail and pay for lawyer fees because that's a lot of money. Because they keep on, you know, changing the court cases, the court times, canceling the case, sent, you know, rescheduling, keep rescheduling the case. In which, when they do that, basically, it's lawyer fees. Once the lawyers show up, he got he's going to get paid. It's going to go down on his books. So, basically, he came up with an idea because, you know, he has nothing but sneakers. Remember, he used his sneakers to get, you know, um, Sky out of jail or whatever to get her out on bail. <coughs> Excuse me. And so then, I'm just like, damn. And so he's showing all his sneakers collection. I was like, oh, my God. Why are you showing all your sneakers? Because when Chris Brown did that, remember the next day he got robbed. So hopefully everything is good in the hood with you, Ted. That, you know, and Chris Brown don't even live in the hood. So anyways, you know, Ted got mad sneakers. He got a lot of sneakers. And I like them you in 33s. And I also remember, didn't, you know, Snoop from Black, Snoop from Love and Hip Hop, you know, New York get a deal with, you know, you and 33. I, got, I guess Patrick Ewan is coming out helping everybody in reality TV get some sneakers. You know, I need to come out with a brand of sneakers. I like you and 33s. I got a good design. <laughs> so, anyways, moving on from that. 
So Teddy's happy. So now he's going to throw a big bash, a release party, basically to try to sell so many sneakers. You know, Seize was there when he signed the deal. Basically, he got creative. He came up with different things. And comfort, the, the sneakers glow. They're nice. I think they look good. I think they're fat. I like the colors. Um, definitely going to cop a pair. I think so. And so anyways, moving on from that. <clears throat> so they're going to throw a party and all this other stuff. And so then that's when, you know, Tatiana started to talk about, you know, my family, you know, my family, I'm having so much issues, bro. And w when she came out, when, you know, Teddy was talking about the sneakers, it almost came out like it was ungenuine, that it was fake. When she was saying like, yo, you know, my mom and my family been hassling me. They want me to go to school. They don't think I'm doing good for my life. They want me to do this. I want me to do that. And then, you know, that's when Ward jumps up and was like, what the fuck? He was like, yo, I don't want to hear that shit. Save that shit. You're the only one in here that probably got parents that care about you. And you was over here crying because you might, my, my mom wants me to go to school. But you live at home. And Tatiana, you you live at home, like yo, you making a career, you're on TV, you you managing shops and things like that, and um, if you don't live at home, and so what's the big deal? They want you to go to school, I ain't going to school. You're an adult. What's what's good? You're running a company. You said you want a company with 250 people. Like, like come on, like it can't be that serious. And what was like yo, this it, this is not the same. You crying victim. Oh God, my mom doesn't want me to go to school. Get get out of here with that fake bullshit. Get out of here with that fakeness. That's what what was going at because what's tired of hearing people coming up with what felt that like it was ungenuine. It was fake, and he was like always oh, somebody's always crying. What was me? But you know what? I have worse problems than you. That's how Walt feels. But Walt could have handled it a better way because you never really see him go off on anybody, especially him go off on females or anything like that. That's usually not Walt's style. But we know Walt lost his, his mother and basically the, the reunion of her death or the anniversary of her death, at, um, I think is going on now on the show, but it's had already passed. And then on top of that, he's having issues with his kids. And you know, Walt is not making a lot of money. And you know... He's seeing his friends support all these other people and making having them have a glow up and he doesn't have he hasn't had a glow up since. So I guess that's where he's coming he he's coming from the situation from. But I think he needs to address C's with the situation and not her. So it is what it is with that situation. But that shit was funny when Will was like, oh, cry me a river. Oh, he was like, oh, my parents want me to go to school. He was like, get the fuck out of here with that shit. I was like, what? Why you go there? But it was so funny. He put on his coat. He was walking. I was like, oh, my parents want me to go to school. I'm a victim. I was like, well, everybody was just looking like, what? What? <laughs> And so Ted was like, calm down, Walt. And Walt was like, no, you calm the fuck down. <laughs> He's like, shut up, Ted. <laughs> I'm like, OMG. Like, I never seen Walt go off like that. But the way he just imitated, you know, Tatiana was just like, damn, Walt. Like, you wasn't feeling her story at all. He was like, cry me a river. I don't want to hear you cry. Talk about all my parents want me to get education. I, I just thought that was the, like, the highlight of the episode, which was funny or whatever. And Ted was like, relax. He was like, no, how about you relax, Ted? <laughs> I was like, so he leaves. He goes, my mama don't want me to go. My mama want me to go to school. Oh, my God. Are you serious? People having some real life serious issues going on. He was like, get, get out of here with that. So anyways, Donna is back home. She's with Rob. Rob seems like a really decent good guy for her that he really cares for her. You know, he might be older. He might be older than her or whatever, but it seems like he has her best interests. And so basically they talk about she's crying because she feels like she can't give him a baby. He was like, no, don't say that. He's going through some things because he's feeling so bad on her. Donna was like, I'm a good person. Donna, you are a good person. You just do some foul shit. And basically you'd be trolling too as well, you know. Basically keeping the show popping. But once they get to your real story, I think that's where it's going to be interesting at. So anyways, it is what it is. So Sky's back at the Sky Sky So that's when Sky let everybody at the shop know that, you know, she's seeing, you know, oh shit's baby mother as a spiritual guy and they're just laughing at her. They just really think that shit is funny or whatever. So it is what it is. And then the shop let Sky know that, you know, Donna had a miscarriage, you know, Donna didn't have the baby because it's not and it was like, damn, you know, Sky, you don't talk to Donna? Like, what the fuck? What's going on? So, anyways, Fat Jew, he walks into the store. He walks into the shop or whatever. And, basically, he makes up this Fugazi tattoo with a rainbow. With um having a rainbow. 
having Oprah, having Donald Trump, having the Amigos start from his stomach and then I, all the way down to his penis have the Puerto Rican flag on a horse or whatever. Everyone's laughing. Caesar's like, oh my God, I can't believe I got to pierce his penis. Everybody's laughing. Kev is, Kev is the only one that's not really laughing, but Alex is laughing. Alex is high as a kite. He is high as a kite. And so anyways, they're all laughing, but basically it's not true. He's just only going to get a frog on a wheel or whatever. They tattoo it up, you know, and, you know, um, what's her name? This guy is kind of like bothering seeds or whatever. Um, you know, some houses ball smell because he's he, he's tattooing fat Jew and the end and the inner of his thigh or whatever. But it is all good. The tattoo comes out. Tattoo comes out okay, comes out average, but see, since they're gonna add, add color to it later on, so it's gonna be fat or whatever. So it is what it is. So then, you know, Teddy's getting ready to have a sneaker party. They give a nice little speech. What this is when <laughs> uh, Miss Kitty is in there or whatever. Everybody's collecting money. You know, what's her name? Young Bay is trying to say the sneakers called three hundred. I was like, no. He was like, she was like, let me do this. I'm good at math. You know, I'll have 150 sneakers sold with only like four or five people. Just let me let me do this or whatever. So, anyways, then the the Snow Bunny from the cabin she comes walks up in the shop so it's a good thing that miss kid did leave sees because then sees talks to her and she was like meet me in the bathroom and then sees goes back there and talk to teddy and teddy was like yo what she's doing here and he was laughing and teddy was like did you fuck her and he was like nah nah but i am gonna do it tonight or whatever or later on because you know teddy was like there's no way if you didn't if you wasn't tapping that she wouldn't be coming up in here so now we get sees dealing with snow bunny he went from Big butt, big booty, <laughs> black girl. So now he's dating a white girl or heading a white girl. Where's persuasion at? And so Miss Kid is feeling some type of way. She's not going to be used for her services, collect the money for her cousin, for Caesar's cousin, when he continues to disrespect her in front of her face. So she leaves, she takes off, she bounces. And the wall is getting drunk. He's all up in his feelings. And then boom, he asks Tatiana, Where's the, how much money did we make? She goes, I don't know. She was in, He was like, what do you mean you don't know how much money we made? She was like, yo, don't be getting on me. We did good or whatever. You know, we made money or whatever. Blah, and the third. He was like, yo, somebody else come, come to you that counts. You wouldn't be saying that. Remember, you're the manager and trainer. And so basically what is in charge is, is in charge of her because he's the manager but since he's been drinking people are not taking him serious so anyways what is sitting there next to ted or whatever and then you know she comes over and she was like oh we did good tonight and then that's when you know what was like so how much money we made you can't know how much money we made because miss miss kitty took off with the clipboard and the money and stuff so you don't know what's going on you're the manager and train and do your job basically whatever and she was like you don't be running up on me don't be coming up at me why are you giving me a hard time why are you doing this whatever i'm sick of this shit or whatever so basically <laughs> so they're going back and forth but she's been having like she's been getting it she's been getting it from everybody too as well too bad Walt is taking it out on her when he should actually be talking to C's and he should be talking to sky and teddy because basically that that's his original crew from the beginning and if he needs support he needs to let them know because a closed mouth don't get fed baby not at all so anyways <clears throat> And so then, you know, he was like, he was just like, yo, why? He was like, I'm tired of this entitled bitch. I was like, oh, what? Why you go there? He calls her entitled bitch. He said, I'm tired of you. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of you crying. I'm tired of you whining. I'm tired of everything about you. I never got from her to check like she was entitled, but maybe she was bossy because, you know, she ran a shop with 206 people or whatever. So it is what it is. And he was like, yo, nobody cares. You know, you're always acting entitled. Whoa, it's me or whatever. And so then, you know, she ends up. And so when he calls her an entitled bitch, she kind of like pushes, she pushes Walt, she pushes it pushes C's and then she runs out to the shop and she says I'm tired of this shit because basically she was embarrassed and she was humiliated in front of the cameras in front of everybody and she didn't already got into so many different fights on this show it's just like damn what more do you want from me what more do you want from me black ink basically and then what they was like whoa, whoa chill out what's your problem yo why you do that that's what C's is saying to her so C's is like trying to check what but see you never check you know Sky when she's in the midst of cussing people out and dissing people saying people got herpes or whatever we see Jada in the background. I think that was Jada in the background at the party dancing. So I don't know what's going on. Were they going to clear up the herpes rumor or it ain't true, whatever? Like, that's defamation. <laughs> okay. That is like defamatory and it hasn't been cleaned up yet. I don't 
don't know if she's cool with the story being ran that she has herpes and it's not unless you guys know i didn't see it cleared up on tv you're gonna clear it up don't clear it up on instagram don't clear it up on twitter don't clear it up on the shade room don't clear it up on vh1 black ink crew on wednesday night my my friends so Anyways, it is what it is with that situation. And so then Caesar was like, let's go outside and talk right now. Walk. So they go outside. We thinking like they're going to go head up. Well, we know it's not. I thought it was going to be a Puma and, you know, C situation all over again. Like, damn, don't let this happen to, don't let this happen to Walt. So basically, you know, Walt was like, yo, nobody cares. I have no ear to cry on. Nobody wants, nobody cares about me. Nobody cares about nothing. Nobody cares about this. Nobody cares about that. So basically, Walt is crying out for help. He's crying that he needs help. And he's actually crying out. TV and we see C's go to Walt's house and it looks really empty and it looked like he's he's barely making it so it seems like he's not getting the shine that Sky's getting Ted's getting and you know Young Bay your but Young Bay got a shot but she actually went to Korea and you got everybody helping out everybody but everybody's forgetting about Walt and it's just it's just you know a bad look that he had to express himself the way that he did towards Tatiana because she's really not the problem it's every it's, it's his real peeps that's the problem the people that he started with black ink with so anyways peace i'm out one love black ink crew we see nikki gonna come back with a bang and you know oh sticks gonna get all his baby mothers back together it don't seem like it's gonna go well at all peace i'm out one love